Let's get right into the headlines once again. President Trump spent his entire weekend tweeting like a madman <laughs> about the ongoing Russia investigation and even called out the head of the investigation, Robert Mueller, saying the Mueller probe should never have been started in that there was no collusion and there was no crime. It was based on fraudulent activities and a fake dossier paid for by Crooked Hillary and the DNC. <laughs> Witch hunt! Now, let's see. Wildly unrestrained, check. Semi-coherent, check. <laughs> Tweet that ends in all caps, check. <laughs> Guys, it's official. Donald Trump is on spring break. <laughs> But this is, this, is, this is the first time Trump has attacked Mueller by name. So you know what that means. It means that after months of practice, Trump finally learned how to spell Mueller. <laughs> no, Mr. President, there's an, there's an E. It, uh, there's an E in the... I know, I, it's a silent E. You don't hear it when you say it. It's a, it's, I know this doesn't make sense to you, but there is a... <laughs> He ended the tweet with witch hunt, right? And we looked it up, and Trump has posted a tweet with the term witch hunt 24 times in the last year. <laughs> or, as they'll soon be called, Exhibit A, Exhibit B, <laughs> Exhibit C, Exhibit D. And did you guys see this over the weekend? Vladimir Putin won a fourth term as president of Russia. <laughs> It's Putin's first presidential victory since the 2016 American election. <laughs> Putin won, he won in a landslide. He got 77% of the vote. In other news, 23% of the Russian population has gone missing today. <laughs> And in financial news, billionaire investor Warren Buffett is facing some criticism after saying in a recent interview, quote, you will not be way happier if you double your net worth. Spoken like someone who has $90 billion. <laughs> but he's partially right. Happiness does not come from net worth. It comes from the things you can buy because of your net worth. <laughs> But he says you're not happier if you double your net worth. And he might have a point, because thanks to student loan debt, most people's net worth is negative $40,000. <laughs> and you do not want to double that. <laughs> and we had to tell you about this. We thought this was a sad story. One of the very last blockbuster video stores located in central Alaska has announced they will soon be closing their doors. <laughs> I know. It's one of only seven blockbusters left in the entire country. If you want to learn more, they're making an amazing Netflix documentary <laughs> all about it. <laughs> Does everybody know... <laughs> There's lots of young people here. Does everybody know what blockbuster video is? <laughs> Do you know, for any young people watching, you may not know, imagine if you tried streaming a movie and they were like, ah, oh, sorry, no, you can't watch that. Someone else has got it and they're gonna watch it tonight. <laughs> you come back tomorrow, you might be able to watch it then. That's what it is. And finally, police in Evansville, Indiana, say a 19-year-old accused of robbing a bank got to and from the crime scene by, get this, taking a cab. <laughs> to... <laughs> in this guy's defense, do you have any idea how hard it is to find parking in downtown Evansville, Indiana? <laughs> it's... If you're going to rob a bank with a cab, you're going to need some very specific instructions. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to need you to wait here. Keep the meter running. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much it costs. I'm going to be able to cover that in a minute. Um, <laughs> but when I come out, I'm going to be a big hurry when I leave. So we're really going to have to go. But this kid, he's in a lot of hot water. His mugshot's been all over the news. But there is a bright spot. He's already had a visitor in jail. Warren Buffett stopped by to say, don't you know that doubling your net worth won't make you any 